Hello, my name is Megan. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Megan Chown Vlogs, where I talk about fitness, travel and dogs. Today we have landed in Washington DC from Baltimore and it is fancy here. We are in a beautiful Airbnb and it just looks posh, you know, it looks posh. We're here for three nights. Rianne's just checking everything out and yeah we'll keep you posted we're hopefully going for tacos for tea so we're all checked into our airbnb and the owner of the airbnb has a dog and we saw them again and they've recommended places to go and have tacos so that's what we're doing we're off into town because it's just like we're quite close to the center and yeah we're gonna head out for some tacos Taco. it's taco tuesday a few moments later We've made it to the taco place. They don't speak English. I asked if they had a table for two in English and he was like, no English. And I was like, oh, okay. So I was like, tiene uno mesa para dos. So we're good, we're good. We're not entirely sure if we should have ordered before we came up, but we're inside now. What you got, pal? Is it good? Today is Wednesday. We have our first full day in Washington today. So we're walking to, oh, someone's on a pogo stick. Ooh. They're doing that really well. We're walking to the visitor center now and we're hoping for some sort of like map thing to know what all the, like the buildings are, you know, cause it's like political and whatnot here. And also querying chicken wings. Apparently it's National Chicken Wing Day in England today. So chicken wing, chicken wing. So it's it's only fair that we we honour that. So we were going to go inside the Capitol building, but you're not allowed to take sun cream in there. And he was like, "You're going to have to chuck it out," and I was like, "No, it's Nivea. I'm not chucking it out, pal." So we've come out again. <laughs> um, so we're just going to have a look from the outside instead. We've just been into the Smithsonian Gallery and, or is it Centre, the Smithsonian just something. The, just the Smithsonian. And there was such a helpful lady in there and we've got various maps now. And there's a circulator bus that goes around here and it's one dollar to go on it. And it goes around like all of the sites and the monuments and whatnot. So we're gonna find where that picks us up and then hopefully find some lunch as well. So we actually ended up taking the circular bus straight to lunch and we did have chicken wings. We then looked around some more monuments around the district where the circular bus took us. We then went back to the pub that we had the chicken wings at because they had pub quiz later. Unfortunately, we didn't do very well, but it was a very fun time. It is Thursday morning. I'm just on the way back from the gym now. I went to Anytime Fitness that's like across town. So we went on the tube and gonna go back and shower. And then we're heading out and I think we're gonna go try and see the White House from like with the lawn and also go into some museums today because it's like a little bit danger rain today. Okay, massive plot twist of the day. So we were in we were in the White House Visitor Centre and found out that some of the presidents had spaniels as pets. That wasn't the plot twist. The plot twist is there's a zoo in the Smithsonian area that we were in yesterday that has free entry and has pandas. Not pandas. And bears. And also it had goats. The next day we flew from Washington DC to San Diego and the view out of the window was beautiful. It was like hills and deserts. So yes, now we're moving over to San Diego. Today I look a bit like an egg, 
but we are in San Diego. So we flew in yesterday. It took five hours, that was too close. It took five hours to fly from the East Coast to the West Coast of America, which still shook me. We flew over so much desert and yeah, now we're in San Diego. We're in this beautiful Airbnb that's a bit of a mess because I've got a bit of a bag situation, which I'll talk about later, but it's got a balcony and then like a sun terrace as well. So we are vibing. Today we're gonna go to, what's it called, Balboa? Maybe, Balboa Park. Balboa Park. And apparently there's like a tourist information there and it's a nice park with like trails and stuff. And I need to buy a new bag. And yeah, that's the plan. This is Balboa Park. I'm not entirely sure what I was expecting, but it was just beautiful everywhere. It is bigger than Central Park, apparently, and it's got loads of different bits to it, loads of different things to see. This is where we had lunch under these umbrellas that were nicely shading us from the sun. They then had these international cottages. So they're sets of cottages and each cottage represents a country. We visited the UK one, obviously. So we had a cup of tea, a proper cup of tea, which was nice, uh, stood with the Queen. Um, and then they had loads of Harry Potter stuff, they had things about football, they had English biscuits, and it was just so fantastic. So, I thought I'd do a bit of a story time. First off, it may look like I'm burnt, and that's because I am. So my sun cream, where is it? I have my trusty Nivea 30 spray guy run out today. And I think I basically sprayed on air. So when I sprayed it on this morning, then reapplied, I was essentially spraying air onto myself. So um, it didn't protect me from the sun. So I'm like burnt here, I'm burnt on my forehead. And then the worst bit is probably there. So I'm putting moisturizer on it every like 10 minutes in the hope that the burn's gonna go away. So that wasn't my finest moment. Also, we've had some bag drama. I came with my Eagle Creek hauler. It is a really good quality bag, but the issue is because like where it's got the wheels, it's just got like a bit of like material that you pull it and not like a proper handle. It kept whacking into my ankle all the time and also like flipping itself over whenever we went over curbs and it was just an absolute nightmare. So when we got to Washington, I bought myself a bag on wheels from Walmart that was like $45, but that had like a proper like pull out thing. However, because it was only $45, it did not last very long at all. Like one of the wheels has come off and it's like, because of that it like flipped itself over and then it made a hole in it and then the zip wouldn't work properly on the plane and I was like oh my word I just had visions of like on the carousel the like just my packing cubes coming around the carousel thankfully the bag was still in one piece but it's meant that I have had to buy a new bag because I left my Eagle Creek one in Washington I messaged the Airbnb person and was like can you make use of this because oh my word also I've been bitten all over my legs um, can you make use of this because I don't want to just chuck it away or can I donate it? And he was like, oh no, I'll make use of it. So I then didn't have the bag. So I've been to a camping shop called Ray in, where are we? San Diego. And the fella in there, Dominic, was so helpful. And it's, it's an expensive shop, but I managed to find a bag that was in the reduced bit because like it's end of line stuff. So this guy is the new bag. It is a Gregory backpack. They've got a lifetime guarantee and it's a 70 litre ladies one and I've had it fitted to me um, with a 13 litre like zip off day bag. So I'm planning on keeping the zip off day bag like attached to my backpack because I've got my like normal day bag, which is a different one to what I started with, but that's a different story. Um, so I'm gonna keep it attached and just put my dirty washing in here. So the plan is to decant all my stuff into here tonight, hope that it fits because I started with a 110 litre bag and this is 70 and that's less. So that's the story of today. San Diego is absolutely lovely. It is just beautiful here, but there has been sunburn and bag dramas. Hello, it is Sunday morning. Hi. Oh, chop your head off. <laughs> and we're going to a donut place for breakfast. It's in, I thought, somewhere in San Diego. We're going for donuts, they've got vegan options each day. And then I'm taking back my bag to Walmart for a refund because it's got holes in it from using it once. And then we're gonna pop in to Old Town after that to see what it's want. We've got donuts. 
We're currently back in Balboa Park and we're chilling under the umbrella that we were under before. We've had some lunch, we had leftover like lentils and tomato sauce from yesterday. And we've got, well, I'm going to an open air organ concert soon. In Balboa Park, every Sunday, there is a free outdoor organ concert. And apparently this is the largest outdoor organ, maybe in the world, I'm not sure. It's, it's a big guy. So I watched the organ concert, it was fantastic. And then we went to this like Spanish market area of Balboa Park that had lots of handicraft shops. We've just got the tram to the station Washington Street because we're near Little Italy and there's a place called Gelato Vero, which is my gelato shop, unsurprisingly. And Rianne's um, suffering from a severe lack of ice cream. And we had it recommended to us yesterday when we were in the international village. So we're going to check that out now. What flavour ice cream do you have? Um, the toffee one, what? I think it's caramel with brown. And then the bottom one, which you can't see when it's like here. I see. How is it? Oh, it's great. Really good. Because sometimes you forget. Mm. Yeah. Really good. We have come to Old Town in San Diego, and I'm not entirely sure what is here, but it currently looks like we're on the set of like a Wild West movie. <laughs> 